So a single transferable voting system is a method used for students' union elections at Lincoln. But how does it work? Let's introduce our candidates as an example. Derek, Maureen, Boris and Rita. It's your job to rank them in order of preference. And there's also this little guy called Ron, or Reopen Nominations, who you can vote for if you don't think any of the candidates are suitable. When you vote online, you'll see a box next to each of the candidates. All you need to do is rank each candidate in order of your personal preference. So, if you think Maureen is the most suitable candidate for the role, you'd select one from a drop-down menu. You can then choose your second, third or fourth preferred candidate and so on in the same way. However, you don't have to vote for all candidates as long as you choose at least one first preference. You can also vote for Ron, who stands in all elections, and if Ron wins, the nominations will be reopened and the election process will start all over again. Once voting has closed, the STV system introduces this 50% line. Everyone's first choice is counted, and if one of our candidates passes the 50% line, they are elected on the first round. If no one gets more than 50% of the vote, the candidate with the lowest number of votes is eliminated. His votes are counted again, and the votes are redistributed based on the second preference. This process continues until one candidate crosses the 50% line. That means whichever candidate is elected, they have at least 50% of the votes. Choose the voice. Vote online at lincolnsu.com forward slash vote now.